um, so it's documented about the challenges of working in the Canadian film and television industry. And uh, it's from my perspective as a young filmmaker, a couple years out of school, want to work on a craft that I love at home. What's the sustainable future in that? So uh, the context of our conversation, it would be really, really helpful for me and for other sort of new people trying to, to break in is sort of what, what tools and knowledge do you need to sort of dovetail um, everything that could be working against you or sort of the more common pitfalls of trying to get a show into prime time or to, to oh. you know, to uh, sort of break that threshold. Total, <laughs> all caps, it's my, it's my Trojan horse. That's right. right. <laughs> it's really, really smart. Well, <laughs> how do you do it? Call Maybe. documentary that. I've got yeah. an idea. My Maybe. Trojan horse. I think we need to do this. Yeah, <laughs> this is a great idea. We should interview all these Hollywood We're going to interview, yeah. That's we're going to go down idea. to L.A. and mm -hmm. say, how do, you, how do you break it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's yeah. interesting because I don't know that there's any real tip or trick in getting in. I mean, I'm, my background's not in television. I moved to Canada and started working in television 12 years ago. I come from advertising, and... Um, and it's funny, when I first came up to Canada and started working somewhat with Clark, there were people around Clark that really felt like it was important that I pay my dues. And I said, you know, I've, I've paid my dues. I've paid them in, in other ways. I've paid them in other industries. And I am a person that believes that all things are transferable, all things relate, all things, you know, if you, if you have a good business sense, it'll relate into a, or transfer into another business. If you have a good creative sense, if you're a, an author, you can translate, you can move that into other expressions of creativity. So, and I think for Clark too, he's worked in television his whole life, but in different ways. You know, mine was a much more Canadian way. And, and, and it's interesting because I was listening to a panel yesterday where uh, somebody was saying that um, they, in their opinion, one of the problems in Canada is that people, because it's, it's so uh, regulated, you know, and there's, there's federal funds involved and so on, is that people kind of come up through the ranks always having uh, a taskmaster, uh, which is kind of a bureau bureaucratic taskmaster. And on one hand, it's fantastic because we, we get to own our own stuff and there's all kinds of protections. But on the other hand, it kind of leads, it kind of squashes entrepreneurial spirit to some extent. So you may end up with a line producer who's now an executive producer, but who's still kind of you know, answering to somebody rather than sort of breaking out, if yeah. that makes any sense. And I think... I didn't sort of suffer under that at all. It well, was, no, because you're not from Canada. And, I, I'm, and, I'm dual now. <laughs> I speak both languages, yeah. both accents. And so so <laughs> for me, I, I, you know, when I look back, I think it was a lot like that. I kind of did this and then I did that. And, you know, you, you kind of went where the door opened rather than figuring out what I wanted to do early. Because uh, I actually really did know I wanted to do scripted stuff. But here I am, 60 years old, and I'm now just doing scripted stuff, whereas I could have been doing it when I was 30. And, so, when, and when we got together, we talked about what we wanted to do together. And when Clark said, you know, drama, we just set out to do drama. It was like, well, why don't we just do that? Let's just do that. And it took a little bit of time to just come up with the thing that we wanted to do, right? Because we had put out a request for proposals at one point for dramatic stuff or comedic stuff. and. And what we got really felt like all, all the rest of the stuff that's on TV. And it just didn't interest us. And we also were savvy enough to know that whatever it is that we brought on, we were going to live with for a long time. So whether through development, if you take Little Mosque as an example, you know, through development until now has been like seven years, right? So you better be somewhat interested in what you're doing to it. And I think some people are better at just doing product than we are, but we're... I don't know, maybe because we're, we're a little bit older, we want to feel an emotional attachment or some sort of a, a passion to what it is that we're doing. So um, we might suffer a little bit underneath the, um, the um, thing that we just want to do what we really want to do now. So we've got projects that we're, uh, we're creating, we're moving forward. Um, but I think also, you know, we hadn't done this before. And so part of breaking in is just doing it. You know, if you're if you've done a short film and if you've if you've done the work and you're you're in the industry and you're then just do it, then just do it. You know, there's those guys that did um, what was that show that the kids loved so much? This is Daniel Cook. Okay. I think those were a couple of PAs off of a off of a um, 
uh, a shoot that started that, at least that's the rumor in the industry, is that there were a couple of guys that went, you know what we should do is we should follow a kid around with a camera. And, and um, you know, and then they just did it and sold it. And they and then they did, this is Emily Young, I think. And, you know, so some of it's just doing it. Um, and I, I do agree with that, that thing that was said in that last year is I found just uh, just the belief that you can do it is half the battle. Just the what you're doing right now, frankly, Scott, is is what you're doing is you're breaking in, and this will get whatever attention it gets, and then you'll go on to the next thing. So you should be thinking now about what that thing is that you really want to do, right? Maintain that momentum. Yeah.